Okay, right now I'm on edX, that's Red Hat Enterprise Linux course, and um, I'm gonna do a little guided exercise as far as running the commands on, on the um, command line. Go ahead and open a terminal. All right, so we'll run the date command, and that should give us the date, simple enough. We're gonna run a command with the um, with with an argument. So, using the argument, that's gonna be with a um, plus percentage r, and then that gives us the date in a um, in a different format. All right. Let's say, for example, we want to know what kind of file that we're dealing with. We use the file command. So that's just file followed by the file that we're wanting to know the uh, type. So right here, it tells us that it's an ASCII uh, text executable. All right, the next one we're going to be talking about is the WC command. It's pretty much a, a counter type of command. We're going to use the escape plus period button in order to repeat the same line. So pressing escape plus the period repeats the uh, same line that we had on, on the tab. I'll hit enter and we get our calculations. So the WC command is counting type of command and um, to get the same line back on our display, that's, that's escape plus period. Okay, the next one we're gonna try out is the head command and it's gonna display the, the first 10 lines of the file that we're looking at. Again, I will hit escape plus period to copy the file that we've been working with and when I hit enter, I get the first 10 lines of, of the file that we were looking at. Now, the same way the escape gives us the first 10 lines, the tail is going to give us the last 10 lines of the file that we were looking at. So if I press the up arrow, it should rerun the last command. Notice if I press the up arrow once, I get the tail command. If I press the up arrow a second time, I get the head command. If I press the up arrow a third time, I get the WC command, etc., etc. So the up and down arrows can cycle through the different commands. All right, I'm going to hit the up. I'm going to hit the up arrow to get the tail and I'm going to put an option in okay my number lock was not on so up arrow the option n 20 this is going to give me the last 20 lines of the tail okay so now I'm going to use the shell history to run the date again so I'm just pressing the up arrow all the way until I find date and boom, I got it. Let's try the history command. Perfect. It shows all the commands that I've run today. All right, we're going to go ahead and exit out of the terminal. Thanks for watching.